Okay, I'm on. I just need to adjust my YouTube video. Hang on a sec. This is the first time I'm trying to do a live with my groceries just so I can focus on both my Instagram and my YouTube so I'm not holding a phone and cutting people off. So I'll see if this works. If you comment on my Instagram feed, I'm not going to be able to read it because you're actually quite far away. I'm gonna recommend if you've got a direct question, DM me on my Instagram page or pop over to my YouTube channel. And this video with the extras I don't share on Instagram, we've got this afternoon. I literally raw dump it and chuck it up for you. So I'm gonna get into it. Um, oh, this was an interesting one this week. I actually had a follower. Um, one, she shared it on my, now I've got a phone call coming in and it's paused my live. <laughs> This is lovely. All right, I think you're back. Sorry, guys. I had a phone call coming in. I don't know if lives are going to work. Anyway, so I have a YouTube, uh, uh, I have a Facebook group called Her Ordinary Mum Community. It's a private closed group, not my Her Ordinary Mum Facebook page. There's a community one. And in there, a mum shared two discount codes. I need a hair tie. Um, she shared two discount codes for, I'm still here, I'm just trying to find a hair tie quickly. Um, two discount codes for Coles, and that's where I shop. And she shared it, that'll work. <laughs> um, she shared it on this page, and I was like, yep, that's cool. I know about the, whatever it was, the collectum discount code. And then another follower messaged me, and she's like, you haven't used both your codes. So I send that screenshot through at the start of every week saying this is what I'm purchasing. Did you know that Coles let you use multiple discounts? So I put in two different discount codes and I got $20 off my grocery shop this week. I have never shopped at a store that allows multiple online discount codes. Just want to share that. So this week, technically, I spent $240. $200.46. With my discount, it came down to $180.46. I don't know why I feel the need to show you this that they used to, to be able to believe me, but I'm sharing it with you. I got a bunch of different things this week because I'm cooking some different things. I can definitely pair this back and stick to my one. 40 budget, but I'm trying to bring things in to show you different cooking ideas and try new things out for you. So let's go. <laughs> um, milk as per usual. This is just our stock center milk we get every week. My kids have been getting bored with their snacks. They're getting bored with their morning tea and bored with their afternoon tea. They're not saying I'm bored with the food, mum, but they kind of go, I'm hungry. I don't know what I want. They're not really eating their morning tea. So I have changed it up a bit. I have grabbed some vanilla yogurt. There is a cheaper brand than this, the Coles brand. I think it's 40 cents cheaper. This is thicker and creamier and my kids do like it. The reason I have grabbed vanilla is because I have got jams in my fridge and pantry, and if they want a flavor, so if my daughter wants strawberry, I literally get a scoop of strawberry jam and stir it through the yogurt. It tastes just as fine. Um, you can put in a bit of honey and swirl it around for honey yogurt. So I grabbed the vanilla one, and I'm gonna put a bit more structure in place with their morning and afternoon teas. Now, I also did grab them these here my kids do like these i don't get them often they are a treat i grab them one to be as a treat and two if we do go out because it is cooler now where we live i can take this kind of stuff out and about with a spoon in my bag so i grabbed those uh, these were on sale the arnott's biscuits i grew up with arnott's sandwiches we used to have butter in between them so i've grabbed those for the kids i think it was two for something i got two packets of them um, I've gotten meat this week, so I have gotten the usual salami we buy and the ham. The ham is going to go for my husband's lunches for the first half of next week. The salami is going to go straight into the freezer, and then we do pizzas next, whenever that is. This will get pulled out. Um, I grabbed some goat's cheese. Now, I'm trying to think of why I grabbed it, and I'm thinking it was for a dish. But maybe I just wanted some goat cheese. I'm not too sure. But I mean, the dates on these, I've still got two months on that. So that can sit there potentially for a vegetarian dish in the weeks to come. I had a lovely follow when I done my live on my sushi making 
the other week um, and I didn't save it. She asked me a question. I'm like, I need to remake it. But they were, I actually ate all of the pickled ginger. And these were on sale. So I grabbed two packets because my family, my son in particular, is loving the homemade sushi I'm making. I'm going to do another live and I'm going to do a YouTube video on it. It is really cheap, really effective. It can be vegetarian. He loves the chicken in it. It is fun to make. It is easy to make. It is really easy to make. And I have tried it in my husband's lunchbox and my kids' lunchboxes, and it holds its shape really well. So I'm, that, that is coming, but this was on sale, so I did grab those. I'm gonna do a roast lamb this week, and I actually grabbed the shoulder on the bone. One, it was a cheaper cut. Um, but two, I made that years ago and my husband said it was actually more of a tender piece of meat for him to eat. So I did grab that. Um, stock standard, dog food, cat food was on sale. So I did stock up there. Um, I'm getting a little bit low on whole tin tomato. So I thought I'd grab just two of them. A couple of different things. I've grabbed some gelatin powder. I've got some in my pantry. But when I went to use it, it was, it was rock hard. It's probably past its use by date, to be honest. I have grabbed gelatin powder because I'm going to try and make honey flavored jelly. I found a recipe, it looked really easy. My kids love honey, and this looked really nice over like fruit. You could stir it through and have chunks of the jelly in your vanilla yogurt. So I'm gonna make that this week. It's probably gonna fail epically, but I'm gonna give it a go. I always get cream, whether it's to make a dinner, scones, pour a bit into my coffee in the mornings, whatever it might be. Um, again, on that private Facebook group, Her Ordinary Mum community, it has to say community join there. I actually reached out and asked for a chicken apricot dish and I've grabbed some apricot nectar and I've grabbed some onion soup packets. I'm gonna make apricot chicken. Don't know if it's going to be this week or not, but I did grab that. And then I also grabbed some pears. I just thought this would be handy one to have as a different fruit for the kids. And it's in tins. It's always nice and soft for them. If I buy them, I find them too hard and my kids see them in the fruit bowl and they want to eat them. They take a bite and it kind of makes it redundant. So I did grab tin pears and I can also make like um, pear tarts. Maybe that's why I bought the goat's cheese. Maybe I was going to create and I want to do a pear goat's cheese tart. I don't know. It will come to me. <laughs> Plenty of fruit and veg. I've got um, red apples are really cheap this week. I think they were $3 or $3.50. Green apples, I still think, were, were far too expensive. They were $4.90 a kilo. I think fruit in general is just getting expensive. I've got a massive bag of grapes. So this week, probably probably going to backfire on me. I have not bought mandarins, although they were super cheap. I find if I keep buying the same things, I'll get a big batch and my kids won't eat them. So no mandarins this week. I will get them next week, but I got grapes. I got a big bunch of bananas. My kids are really enjoying bananas at the moment. I've got zucchini to do quite a bit of baking this week. I've got a bunch of baking videos coming. Um, I've got my cucumber and avocado. I've got a proper fresh garlic and this is going to be going in with my roast lamb i basically cut the whole thing in half and stick it in i'll try another film it or share it on instagram for you so you can see canker crumb was on sale and my family is currently obsessed with the homemade chicken crumb schnitzel things that i make two ingredients it goes down a treat i add more in to get more flavor but panko crumb and chicken mince is a winner. Uh, these were on sale and I really felt like them, so I'm not gonna lie. Um, I am baking some biscuits this week and I got some chocolate, they were on sale. I did think I wanted the white chocolate, then we had the milk chocolate on sale, which is fine. Um, tiny teddies, because it's just one of those things that I don't love using things that's got packaging, but as a mum, when you go out to chuck something into your handbag, really convenient, I still wish um, Hynets would just do a big bag of them for like school mums. You can just grab a handful and put them in lunch boxes. I wish they would do that. I have been told that I think Coles or Costco's do just a box, but it's only one flavour. You can't buy any other flavour. My favourite tea bags were half price and I grabbed them. I have two packets in my pantry, but I will go through probably a packet and a half before they go back on sale again. These are usually I think 11 or $12, so for half price I definitely grab them. 
you guys probably all know my obsession my son's obsession with Nutrigrain. I've tried three different recipes now to try and make a Nutrigrain bar for him. A bit hit and miss, I'm still playing around with it. But these were on sale at the big boxes this week. So last week I bought three of the smaller boxes because they were on sale. And this week I've grabbed two of the jumbo packs in them. I guarantee you next week my son's not gonna wanna eat Nutri-Grain ever again. That just, that's just what happens. Um, I bought a huge cauliflower, not to have with our roast this week or next week, but I'm going to be doing a vegetarian dish, baking the whole cauliflower beautiful herbs and spices. I've got a couple ideas, a bit of a cheesy thing. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to make that this week, I think, because um, it's a nice fresh cauliflower and I want to go through it. Some things that you might not see down here, I've got my tomatoes. I've got a load of, um, what are they called? Kiwi fruit, because my son is loving kiwi fruit. I've got carrots. I've got a 30 pack of eggs because I'm doing a lot of baking this week. I'm going to go through eggs and my husband does have eggs every morning for breakfast. I've got beans. I've got snow peas down here. I've got a big bag of spinach. And I actually grabbed this. As you guys know, I don't really use baking paper. I've got my reusable silicone mats. But I found something on Pinterest and it required baking paper for the kids to make something. And now I'm going to have to go back and find what it was because I can't remember. But it was something. It wasn't cooking related. It was arts and craft related. Um, I got sour cream because I am going to be doing some stuffed potatoes. I think I had an idea to do. I think it was. I get all these ideas in my head and I write them in a book. So trust me. Some of these things sound a bit weird, but I do have a plan for them. But that is pretty much my grocery haul for the week. The big cost has come out in the dairy section again. I've bought some little gourmet cheese. I've got yogurt, yogurt. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I've got some butter. A while back, you would know, I was buying a big one kilo tub of Coles home brand margarine or spread, whatever it was called. Um, look, I'm not gonna lie, I tried it and I didn't love the taste of it. So this costs more and my kids go through it a lot quicker, but I prefer the taste of this. If you are really trying to cut back on your budget or you're in a really tight budget, that kilo tub was like $1.80 or something from Coles. It's the home brand, it's a big circular tub. It was $1.80, it lasted forever. I'm just being picky right now saying I prefer the taste of this so I bought it for the kids. Could easily go back to it if we wanted to or needed to, but that's, I'm just being honest to say that I prefer that one, so I'm grabbing that one. Um, but that is pretty much it. The cost has definitely come out of dairy this week. I've got the yogurts. Um, the lamb itself was $30, so I'm looking at 180 takeout 30 I could bring it right down. If I wanted to bring my grocery budget down to the 140 I wouldn't have purchased two of the Nutri-Grains. I would have purchased less dog food. I would have grabbed one of the onion sachets. I probably wouldn't have grabbed them because I've still got some in the pantry. I probably wouldn't have grabbed the goat's cheese. I'm still questioning why I've got that. I either would have gotten the vanilla yogurt or these here. So there's definitely things you can pull back. My cat's making an appearance if anyone can see him. Um, I just thought I would go out and buy a bunch of things. So I've got a lot of cooking I'm going to be doing to share with you. I didn't need to buy um, the apricot nectar because I'm not sure if I'm doing chicken this week. I didn't need to buy the pears. I didn't need to buy the gelatin. There's plenty of things you can pull back if you're really on a budget. I've just gone out to get quite creative and share a bunch of ideas with you all. That's my dog barking. Um, but for my Instagram family, please give me some feedback if you enjoyed this way of me filming. And for my YouTube family, was this better, my cat's in the corner, was this better for you to see how I've talk through everything and not having a phone in my hand walking around. I'm trying to get it so I can capture. I've got one on the tripod here and one on the tripod here and I'm trying to get it even. With my live on Instagram, the last time I done a live, I deleted it. I'm gonna try really hard to save this. So if you're not watching it now, it is saved and you can go back and watch it in future time that you have. Uh, for my YouTube family, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing more with you on some food prep. I'm coming around guys, I'm still here. Okay, YouTube family, we are gonna do some 
dinner planning for the week. I am going to be completely honest. I have had probably the most unorganized three weeks. I'll tell you about it in a couple of weeks. It'll all make sense. But we have probably eaten out the most, probably had toast for breakfast the most we've had in a very, very long time. And the food I just rubbed off of this board, it's kind of hard for you to see because there is some afternoon sun I just can't get rid of. So I really want to nut out some dinners for the week and get organized and know my list. It's, it's organized for me. I've got so many dinners in the freezer that it, I don't need to be buying takeaway. Um, but when it's not written up here, I have to spend time looking for things in the freezer. So we're going to go through and make a list of dinners for the week and get organized. And I've had a few of you say before that while I'm doing this, you do it as well. So while you have this video on, pause it, go over to your board, get your pen and paper out, write down your Monday to Friday, your Monday to Sunday, your Tuesday to Monday, whatever it might be. I do eight dinners, eight dinners because it gives me one up my sleeve in case I cancel and it always keeps me one dinner ahead for the week. Now, I'm going to get started. I have already taken mince out the freezer because I plan to make spag bowl for dinner. So that is going up. Just the first thing that's come to my mind, not the first dinner I'm going to be eating for the week. That's the first thing that has come to mind. I will be making from that grocery haul the um, coll stuffed cauliflower, cheese cauliflower. <laughs> Let's call it the cheese cauliflower. Flour, that flour, cheese cauliflower. Um, I've got an idea on what I want to make. Um, I want to do it early in the week so the cauliflower is still nice and fresh. So that one is going to either be an epic fail or a really nice dinner I'm going to add to our vegetarian meal going forward. I have my roast. I really want to do a Sunday roast. So I'm just going to write up here roast lamb. It's probably going to be really simple. I'm probably just going to serve it with potato, sweet potato, onion, and whatever veggies I've got. So I've got carrot and beans. That's probably going to be what it is there. Nothing extravagant or anything like that there. Just a nice roast dinner. So off the top of my head, I know there's definitely three dinners I've got for the week. Now comes the part I need to think. <laughs> I can go through my freezer. I can go through my pantry and find a couple of things. So let's have a squeeze. I'm, I'm going to do it with you because if you're doing this same time as me, we can find some things together. I think you might be a bit high now. I'll bring you down a little bit. My dog wants out. She always wants out when I'm filming. Now I know in my freezer, because I only made it the other day, I have got the really nice one pan chicken thigh curry I made. So I think that's going to become a dinner one night because all I have to do here is cook rice cook rice and it's done um so that will be one dish now this here is my pulled pork so i've got some pulled pork here um what else have i got i've got some frozen chicken mince so our family is currently obsessed with my crumbed chicken so i think that might be something um so i've got two dishes there i'm definitely going to do the chicken curry and the chicken mint so that's two let me just write them up before I forget and see what we're up to. So I've got the homemade crumbed chicken and then I've got the chicken curry. Now I know for a fact that I have got two packets of taco kits that I have not eaten for probably a month or two. I bought them if you watch my YouTube, if you watch my grocery hauls religiously you would know that we have not had tacos for quite a while. I need to sneeze guys, sorry. Um, so I might make tacos, but I've got no taco, I've got no, um, beef mince and the beef mince I've got, I've taken out to make spag bowl and I'd rather spag bowl than the taco mince. So what I might do is I might just write up mince here for next week's groceries and I can grab mince next week and do tacos for the next week. So now I'm thinking ahead. Um, I need something else. I need something else. We had sausages last night. And I've got sausages coming in next week's groceries. So I've already put that through. Um, I'm thinking just like a vegetarian dish of some sort. My husband's just walked in the front door, so you might see him in a minute. I might just do like some roast veggies. 
which I can bulk up that are left over from the roast lamb dinner. I always add in here leftovers. And then to completely honest, I think what I'm gonna do this week is we're just gonna have a fend for yourself night. I've got some meat pies my son's gonna wanna eat. I've got two minute noodles. We've got banana on toast. We've got eggs on toast, scrambled eggs, nothing wrong with that. So I think we're gonna do that this week. So I have a feeling I'm gonna have some leftover roast lamb and some heaps of spag bowl. So that'd be a leftovers one. And then just a fend for yourself one. My husband's looking at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, but that's it, so I'll just do a fend for self night. As I said before, there's nothing wrong with just having toast for dinner. Um, but that is my plan for the week, and I've already pre-thought out two meals for next week. So I've got mince I'm grabbing next week. I've already put an order in for my sausages for my groceries next week. I'm usually like a week ahead with my groceries. So on Monday, I'll think of anything else I need to add, my mince, and then I'll hit submit. So I've got two packets of pork sausages I know that are coming for next week. I've got mince coming for next week. I'll have spag bowl left over. I might have some leftover roast lamb and the rest leftover roast lamb might become part of a pizza next week. I've got all my ingredients is for a homemade pizza. Um, so already I've got four dinners sort of planned for next week. Um, and half of that I've got ingredients at home and half of it I need to purchase. So that is it. I hope that has helped this week. I needed it because I needed to get back on track with not having takeaway food. Um, I hope you enjoyed guys and we'll talk soon. Bye. Bye.